Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing one minute against Baltimora in the one minute ICC pool. Um, oh, I forgot to play bishop takes c3 in that position. Whoops. Um, anyways, I had a pretty lackluster bullet session uh, just a little while ago, so I'm back for more. I'm trying to recover. This is probably some theory that I'm not aware of. Um, I don't play this line. He does have knight c7 here. Check. But maybe I can sack the exchange and like actually get some pretty decent counterplay. You can take on b7. Interesting. Um, let's go queen b6. No, let's not. Let's go bishop f8. Queen b6, he had uh, d7 maybe, so... Don't want to do that. Uh, okay, bishop d5. If I can round up this pawn, I'm happy. I'm very pleased. Okay, he's letting me take it. I like this position. I have a strong knight on d4. Good compensation, I think. Hopefully he plays rook c1 so I can just win him instantly. Uh, what am I going to do here? Okay, let's go here. Time warning. Let's threaten some vague mating stuff. Alright, well... This is not going as planned. Hmm, okay. Definitely not going as planned. Man, the string of poor play continues. Yikes, awful. Streak of poor play continues. Okay. Not a good way to start this session. Oh, Sparnel IQ. A real fast player. <laughs> Great. Check. check here. Let's go here. Knight f6 is supposed to be good here. And I'll try to sink my bishop in to h6. Then maybe go knight g5. And actually, he's going to have to be very careful soon. Um... Let's go e4. And then let's castle this way. He does have that, that's true. I'm just going to try to go g5 and like break up his position, so. Um, he's doing a good job of defending, though. Maybe I can bring my knight to e3 and then to f5. Let's go here. We'll trade this guy, and then get this knight into f5. Check. Play king d2 after this. Uh, ooh, he's Check. giving me an exchange. So I will gladly take that. Um, let's take here. Problem is he can take with the f pawn, yeah. And my um, my pieces aren't the greatest in this position. F3. He can just really kind of annoy me in this position. Let's see if he Time. takes. He's not going to take. Interesting. Check. Well, I'm going to try to attack his, um, his pawn on h6. I know he's really fast, so... Check. Okay, this is this is great for me though. Check. Check. Okay. Started blitzing like crazy at the end, but it didn't help. All right, Terra Nozvar. Let's get back on the horse here. Let's get back in action. Recover our dignity. Um, okay, that's annoying. Try to play rook a d8 next. His queen is coming out there, though. Okay, let's go here. Just eye his knight on, g on uh, g5. Maybe I can play bishop f6 to try to neutralize his play a little bit. Let's just take now. 
I think I can maybe get away with taking on c2. This is kind of audacious, but it, it's probably okay. I don't want to go to g6 because he has bishop takes e6. So don't want to do that. Um, let's go bishop f5. And then here. And then maybe h5. And then here. This is annoying for him. Hmm. Let's go here. Um, need some way to get in my pieces. This is not the way to do it. Uh, Time. I'm trying to get in. Yeah, I don't know. Go f5. This is Check. really risky, though. Yeah, because I can barely move in this position. Okay, he hung his queen. That's cool. That's good for me. <laughs> I keep saying that's cool. Sorry, I don't mean to say that. It's just like... What's running through my head when my opponent drops a piece? I'm like, oh, that's nice. Okay, exchange Slav. I'll do what the cool kids do. Just put the knight on e2. Knight g e2. Okay, I'll just take now. He probably should have captured on f4. Uh, okay, let's go here. Stick a rook in on c5 would be nice. Uh, okay, let's go back. So we're going to swap a bunch of stuff. He's going to bring his knight in. Guess I got to take it, kind of. Try to go h5. Mm, do I have g4? I do. Check. Hmm. Check. Huh. Check. He has a bunch of checks on my king. Check. Ooh, a hanging pawns. Check. Hanging pawns. Check. Check. T check. Hmm. Check. 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 Yeah. Check. Oh, and he catches my d pawn. Oh, that's a shame. This guy's tough. He's really pretty tough. Let's go here. I don't know why I'm playing like this. It just seems interesting. Let me mate you. Oh. <laughs> I really wanted to mate him with knight f3. He didn't let me. Okay, his center is kind of collapsing, is it not? This is a weird looking French position. His center is just like getting decimated. Okay, once again, I'm just like incredible position against this guy. He probably had bishop g5 in that last position. Hmm. Okay, now I can bring my knight here. I can take on d5. He does not. Yeah, I should just be winning in this position if I consolidate halfway decently. Now knight g3 is coming. Check. Check. Um, okay, let's go here. And then here. He's not getting out of this. Okay, finally got a win against this guy. Probably get him again. Nope, Serzik. Don't know who this guy is. He's playing the Nimzo. Check. Um, okay, I'll like Fianchetto this bishop. And play b4, bishop b2. This feels like some theory of some sort. Go knight d4. This is a common idea. He's just taking stuff willy-nilly. Uh, take, can I do that? I can't do that. I'll go here, I guess. Really annoying. Ah, but I am threatening bishop takes f6. However, 
So let's do that. So I got my material back, which I am pleased with. Hmm. Yeah, he does have a pretty strong pawn on c4. Let's go here. Can he sack on f2? <clears throat> he might be able to. He declines to uh, explore that possibility. Maybe my rook will be annoying here. I'm attacking c6. I'm hitting his knight. f4? Sure. f4 and then I can win c6. Looks good to Check. me. Um, back to c5, sure. Cover d5. Time warning. Let's go here. Uh, oof, e4. Time warning approaching. It's already here, actually. Check. Okay. Check. 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 Okay. Got him on the clock. I'm at 24.99 after that game. Let's see how Serzik handles the Scandinavian. Plays 95. I'm okay with this position for Black Alfie and Keto, my kingside bishop. Wonder if he'll sack the exchange on e6. That'd be interesting if he did. He's thinking about it right now. He didn't pull the trigger. He did not pull the trigger. He can still do it if he wants. Now I'm attacking d4 and b2. I think I can get away with taking that, so I'll do it. Be greedy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bring our queen back to a5. This is kind of annoying. You see, my queen ended up on a5 again. On move 3 and then move 18. <laughs> I think I'm going to play knight d5 next if I can. Knight g4 looks pretty good. Uh, let's take this way. Can I take on a2? Uh, if I took on a2, he does have um, rook a1. Okay. Um, let's just take. Then go after the a pawn. This position's really pretty bad for him. But I am up two pawns, almost for nothing. Check. Time warning. So now I got this pin in. Check. 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 Yeah, he's not going to get me in this position. Resigns. Okay, I'm back above 2,500. It's going better this session. The doorpost again. Mr. Doorpost. Who's very quick. He's very speedy. Bishop e3 is he gonna play it? Nope, all the way back to c1. Mm. Let's go here. Let's see what we can do against him, shall we? Knight g3 might be an idea. Um let's go a5. Try to make his knight uncomfortable. Sink this knight into d3. That's just a monster square. E4. This is looking really good. Wonder if we'll sack the exchange. Declines too. Now he can't defend C3 really. Guess he can, but it's hard. It's difficult. Yeah, he just has hardly any play here. No, Check. that move's not going to help him. His queen and his rook are forked. 
Yeah, he just got sick of having that cramped position. Who's this guy? Pixelutote from Chile? No, Puerto Rico? Chile, okay. All right, <laughs> I'm playing this line a lot lately. Forgive me, guys. Um, oh, I actually forgot to play knight d5 in that position, but that's okay. Okay, so we have just a pretty normal middle game. Maybe I can do this. Um, okay, you can go bishop f8 and like attack that pawn at will. So I'm just going to lose my pawn on c5. Wow, he didn't take it. Surprised by that. Pretty surprised. Let's go here. Okay. Weird. Weird stuff going on. I can win his c6 pawn now, I think. If rook c8, I have rook d6. He resigned. Strange game. I'm 25-34 after that game. Cool. Doing well. I'll play a few more games for this session, and then I'll wrap it up. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. Uh, I'm recording this on Friday because I'm playing a tournament at the moment. I'm playing the Minnesota Open. So it's Saturday, Sunday, meaning I haven't started it yet, but I will be playing it this weekend. So I wonder how he stops on a dime. Like he plays very fast, but like then again, he saw when I threw in the move C takes D5. Somehow that's uh, kind of impressive. But yeah, I'm recording these slightly in advance just because of this tournament I have coming up. It's our, whoops, I meant to play B4. It's our state open championship. Which I play every year. Okay, this position looks pretty pretty nice for me. I'll just go here. If he wants to trade, um, okay, well, yeah, he is getting in there, isn't he? Yeah, that's annoying. Okay, I'll do this. We'll take over the file. I'm going to try to put my knight on c5 to counterbalance his. Let's go here. He has knight f3 check, but what does that do? It doesn't do anything. Now I have knight d7. Hmm. Really? What queen e1? I kind of fear that end games are bad for me now, though. Check. Hmm, wow. I have rookie one as a threat. Check. Oh, I can just do this Check. now. Check. Check. He resigned. Okay, I'm 2554. Things have really been going well in this particular session. Hmm. Yeah, he overestimated his kingside play. He probably should have just focused more on uh, the queen side. Like, actually, when um, he got his knight into c4, I thought here he should play rook a8, maybe. He played rook c8, but he doesn't really need his rook to defend the c6 pawn. be better for him just to play rook a8, I believe. Challenge me on the a file. Although I could play rook a1 and challenge him back, so... Hmm. Let's see if anyone's playing who's high-rated at the moment. Real Georgiev, okay. Nice opponent to get. Am I going to play another exchange kid? Nope, he plays this line. This line is like trendy or something. Uh, okay, let's go queen a4. Yeah, they're going to put the knight on d6 is how they play this. I guess here, bishop d7, but I do have this move. Hmm. Uh, okay. 
my epon is hanging, so that's not good. Not good at all. Uh, let's take. I'm gonna go here, I guess. This guy seems pretty sharp. That was not a good move by me. I'm just losing a piece. Yeah, that was bad. Okay. Well, hopefully I can play Georgiev again. I think that's how you say his name, Kirill Georgiev. Yeah. He's playing a Larson. This might be his bullet opening. The Nimzo Larson. Oh no, um, he could have played f5 in that position. <laughs> that was trapping my bishop. I'm going to try to break with e5. Maybe he'll let me. Guess I'll go here. We're headed for an endgame. Hmm. Let's expand. King d6, maybe? Um, I don't know. Rook b5, or rook b8, try to go b5. He's going to be bringing his knight somewhere soon, I predict. Hmm. Hmm, now I have this. Check. Check. With a rook end game, I should have good chances of winning. Wouldn't you think? I would certainly think. That's a good move, though. Okay. Time. Hmm. Check. 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 Hmm. Check. 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 Okay. Now I just got a motor. Check. 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 All right. Well, it's a lot easier to play that end game when my king is completely safe. So, huh, that was interesting though. Um, let's play one more bullet game. Rubber match against Georgiev. Maybe he'll play King's Indian again. Nope, he plays Knight C6 on move one. The two knights tango. Okay, now we're in the Zurich variation. I'll go here, and if he goes H6, uh, Bishop H4, sure. This position is actually pretty good for black, I think. You can play E4 and cramp me. We'll go here and try to um, try to get my knight to c3, although it's going to be tough now. Check. I guess I'll just trade some pieces. Eh. Put my queen on d4. Does that help me at all? Mm, not a whole lot. Check. Trying to get my knight in somewhere. Let's go here. Don't know if that was advised. Check. 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 Huh. Check. Hmm. Ah, okay, F3. Sure. Undermine his knight. Time warning. Check. It's almost like I can Check. mate, do like a mating net around his king. Check. Check. It's kind of wild. Hmm. Uh, I really didn't want to do that, actually.
Hmm. Check. Oof. Yeah, I flagged him at the end. Hmm. What happened there? He wasted a tempo with h5, didn't he? h5. Why would he play that move? But I, like, completely blundered something, didn't I? Yeah, here I think instead of e7, I meant to play king d7. I think that would have been better. King d7, bishop g6, and then king d7. Yeah, and then attack the c6 pawn and be able to push mine. I don't know if I'm winning or not, but... Huh. Okay, well, let's tabulate the results of this session. So where did we start? I think we started with Baltimore. Is that right? Yeah. So I played 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 games. And I had, whoa, 10 wins. No, 11 wins. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 wins. And three losses. Yeah, 10 and 3 on this session. And I got my rating up significantly. Yeah, it went up, you know, 50 plus points, I think. Back on the best list. Okay. All right. Well, like I said, hope you guys have had a good weekend. And I'll be back tomorrow with another bullet video. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave me any feedback in the comments. Bye.